The Mortar Guard is a powerful counter to clusters of warriors and titans. When the Mortar Guard gets in range, it locks in and barrages enemy troop formations and titans. For 3 mana, the Mortar Guard is a strong backline indirect fire unit that prioritizes units at a distance. Though his aim is not great, each shell he launches does an area of effect explosion, doing extra damage to titans. The unit requires time to set up and tear down his mortar tube, leaving him briefly vulnerable. And he has no close melee attack or defense. But that's okay. If enemies get too close to the mortar guard, he'll pack up and retreat. While packing up takes time, retreating adds survivability to the mortar guard, which, if managed well, can sit comfortably away from the front line for the entire match. To use the Mortar Guard efficiently, you'll have to keep pressure on your opponent so they can't get them to take them out. Let the war be fought in the middle with your high health titans, or in high numbers with warriors like the Shield Knights. While they stall out your opponent's push, your Mortar Guard will thin them out with indirect fire. The Mortar Guard is a strong defensive warrior, protecting your towers and front lines by shelling enemies from a safe distance. It combos well with units that can buy them time to set up, like Gorgons or Banshees, Crowd control spells like Cold Snap, Tentacle, Tidal Wave, and especially Gravity Well can help clear out large pushes. When facing a Mortar Guard, you'll have to keep an eye on your attack spells like Chain Lightning, Fireball, and Corrupted Pool. These spells can be helpful for taking out a Mortar Guard when you can't reach them. However, be careful, because an attack like that could leave you exposed if your opponent plays a Mana Tower afterward that you now can't counter. Stay tuned for upcoming card spotlights and join the Siege Discord using the link in the description for all of the discussion.